You can tell us a bit of a slow news day this Sunday when the, some of the stories are just pure nonsense that are going around. But the big, big, big exciting news for today is the fact that Mikey Johnson has been speaking to an ex-Celtic goalkeeper, a legend. He's been speaking to Paki Bonner. And he says that he's absolutely chuffed to bits that Brendan Rodgers is back, just like we all said before. Uh, because Brendan Rodgers was basically the man that gave him his chance at Celtic Park the last time. And he says, Mikey Johnson says, it implies, well, he says, because Brendan likes me as a player, there's every chance that I might get a bit more time on the pitch. Johnson obviously spent last season out on loan and made 31 appearances, scoring three and f five assists. Isn't a great return for a winger uh, with the assists, but um, in his 31 games, but will he have improved enough to appease Celtic fans that says that he should be sort of out the door? Bonner also said that Brendan could serve as a glimmer of hope for other players who have been on the outskirts of the squad. He suggested that some players might have an opportunity to regenerate themselves under this new manager. He says players that have been out the spotlight for some time, like Mikey Johnson, might get a chance again to uh, shine. That's a song, isn't it? Anyway, Johnson's uh, first term sort of, at Celtic were marred by injuries. Um, his hamstring used to go quite a lot. Uh, but I think he's got over them. He did admit himself that when he was forced into the team, um, his body wasn't quite ready for the exertions that he put it under. Uh, it'll be good to see if the winger gets his chance after being in Portugal last season. Uh, Celtic are obviously setting off to Portugal. Uh, they start pre-season first thing tomorrow morning in Portugal. Dyson Maida has been pictured leaving Japan and heading over to Portugal to catch up with the rest of the team, which will be an interesting week because I don't think any of the games are actually on the telly. And the fact that we still haven't made what we were classed as a big signing yet, and we've still got this £30 million pounds burning a hole in our pocket, never mind any of the money that comes from the Jota deal. Will this be the week where we make one of those big signings and they're paraded over in Portugal? I think the club did make a statement and Brendan made a statement that they want to try and do better in the Champions League. And for that, we really need to spend big money. The Tomine thing for Man United, I can't see that one happening. There is a lot of talk around about bringing Kieran Tierney back. But when you have to look at the injuries that Kieran's had over the last couple of years, it would be a, a great player to bring back. But, you know, you have to look at the injuries that players have had and that's kind of what's held them back at Arsenal also. We've obviously got a couple of players in so far. We're waiting to see if we can get the the other boy for Korea in the door. That's really a bit out of the day. It is a really, really slow, strange day. One person that has left the building is obviously Barkas. And Celtic have never put out a statement. Usually Celtic would thank the player for the for taking four and a half million in transfer fees and wages. <laughs> of course Celtic are not going to thank him. Do you know what I mean? He came and took a big chunk of money out of Celtic and Celtic have basically just wrote that off. I mean, there's other players as well that are at Celtic. And I mean, Celtic are in the process of writing off quite a bit of money when you look at the money that the flop that we got from West Ham. Um, I mean, why is West Ham not coming back in for him? Uh, tells you everything you need to know. And then there was another player, Soro. You know, so we've got Ijeti and Soro still at the club. As it stands, both of them have still got a year left on their contract. Will Celtic buy them out their contract? Um, give them a payoff just to get them out the door? I think it probably needs to be done. But the big... Big news is obviously the fact that he's been speaking about us again. The season hasn't even started, and you've got to remember, he did nothing but talk about us all last season. Yep, I'm talking about Michael Beale. Michael Beale was said that having Brendan Rodgers back at Celtic will make the league better because the lucky man that is Adam Postacoglu has left the building. I wonder if he'll call Brendan a lucky man. Oh... <laughs> Will he call Brendan Rodgers a lucky man? Um, considering they both worked together, Bill worked under Rodgers a couple of times uh, in the past. 
will Beal go down that road? They obviously work together at Chelsea and Liverpool. Um, will he say it? Will he say it? He can't stop talking about us. You know, it's just like the season's not even started and uh, the press are always trying to get us to talk about them. We don't really care what they're doing and as I've said many times on the, this channel, I have no idea what players they're buying or who they're getting in. I'm not really interested. As long as we do our business, we will win the league. Celtic are have it in them to win the league this season again. The, the, they feel the, the squad will be strong enough as it stands to win the league. They obviously want to buy players in to make an impact in the Champions League. And obviously with the change in the Champions League, it's imperative that we do well this year and get and win the league and get into it next year. Um, because you're going to get even more money in the Champions League next year, I believe. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, a lot of work to be done in Portugal with the team. This is the business end of the season where they get their fitness right up there. And as we've seen in yesterday's video, the manager was more than excited and he was, he was more than happy the way that the players that have came back so far, he was more than happy with their fitness levels. He says usually you get players come back and they're not that fit. Every player has come back and they're, they're ready to go. It's just about taking their fitness to the next level because they want to play that fast attacking football and they want to obviously... We, you know, get that fitness up there to where it was at the end of the season you've got to remember they spoke about it I think it was John Kennedy spoke about it in an interview last year he says they obviously have, they have their training no it was Ange Postacolgo wasn't it and they have their training set out for the season so they know exactly how well they're going to train in, in sections and blocks to make sure that when they get to the end of the season their fitness is probably at the highest it's been all season um, where other teams are kind of waning as it gets there but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And I am kind of bumbling on this morning because there's not a lot of other news. Um, Hugh Keevens has made a statement. Who cares about Hugh Keevens? Um, there's, there's not a lot. John Hartson says that... He says that Jota was right within his right to quit Celtic uh, and a money-making... A money... Big money offer like that would have made him quit the hoops also um, before... He ended up retiring, didn't he? But Jota's in the past. That's in the past. It's all about the future now. It's all about us getting this. It'll be interesting to see how much footage, I mean, Celtic will obviously put out <clears throat> a lot of footage over the next couple of weeks to show people the squad training. And there'll be a lot of interviews also with players, I suspect, when all the international players return next week. So that'll be interesting to see what they say next week we did say this time last week that we were going to have two big sign-ins we didn't realize that the two big sign-ins were going to be just as getting contracts of players that we've got extended so will there be big sign-ins this week get your finger out celtic and on that note have a great day celtic fans all around the world and yes we'll probably do a oh, wait a minute we're going out today i might not do a live tonight because we're going to a pool party on that note have a great day celtic fans all around the world Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party.